final letter in SMART is T, which stands for time-based. All right, so your goal needs to have a clear time frame so you know when you need to achieve it by. All right, so in this picture, there's a clock and there's a calendar. That's basically the ways you're going to look at a time-based goals, right? When are you going to finish this goal? So a non-example is I will turn in 75% of my homework. Now, that's got a lot of the other pieces to it. It's pretty specific. It's got some numbers. It's measurable, right? But I don't know when I will do that by because there's a big difference between I will turn in 75% of my homework tomorrow than there is I will turn in 75% of my homework this quarter versus this week or this month or really I will turn in 75% of my homework in the next 10 minutes. Right? Those are all completely different things and will really change how you go about trying to achieve them. So it is important, again, you are very clear what is the time frame that you're going to do this in because your plan is going to be very different based on that time frame. It's like what we talked about with the destinations. If I'm saying I'm going to go to Maine tomorrow, right? that means I better get myself on a plane and I'm going to be spending a lot of money and right making a lot of last minute decisions that are going to be very different than if I say I'm going to go to Maine in one year right because then maybe I can drive maybe I could even walk I don't even know but a lot of things are going to be different I'm going to spend less money that kind of thing so just like it's totally different if you change the date of a destination of a place you're gonna go it makes it completely different when you change the date or time for a goal so make sure you're very clear about that and think it through so go ahead and make sure that your goal is time-based now